Hey guys, what's up? Boris Media here with another tutorial. This has been requested by one of my uh, subscribers, uh, Trailer Man. He asked me if I could do a video where I show you guys how to make a GUI texture appear when I walk up to an object and fully disappear or just disappear when I go go far from the object. So it's actually fairly simple. So just create a Quick quick field here. Alright, so we're just gonna Alright, so we're gonna import our um uh character controller. I need my first person. Import. So it's going to be uh, a not a very long tutorial because it's actually fairly simple to do so first person scale it up all right now what we want to do is we want to make this guy walk up to this cube And we want some some text to appear. So like, like wow, it's a cube or something like that. Um, I don't really know. So just test the game very fast. Add some spotlight. guys I'm just all so spotlights more because it kind of makes stuff look better all right so uh, all right so uh, let's start off by making a empty and we're gonna call this our text trigger and then we're gonna go add component physics box glider if you don't have that we're gonna go to a component physics box glider we are gonna select that it's a trigger and click our R on our keyboard to bring it up make it make it a little bigger than our cube Like this, as you can see right here. Scale up it like this. Make sure that you select that it's a trigger, because otherwise, if we unselect that, you try to run our. So, because now, see, as you can see, we can walk through the trigger. Oh, if we unselect this. Is gonna become an invisible wall and it won't let us walk through. Maybe actually move it a little bit here. Alright, so next thing we need to do is we need to add a GUI text. We're gonna go create a game object, other GUI text. Then you wanna go to text and type in Wow, it's a cube. And you see, and um, Pixel, we're gonna do pixel offset and and X and we got X and Y. X is left to right and Y is up and down. So we kind of want to put it through the middle. I'm sorry guys, my mouse is being weird. All 
uh, bring the wine down. Or I should bring it up because my you know it looks better when it's um because my my floor is white so and in the free version I don't think you can change the color. Alright, so we got that now. Now if we if we run the game You've got it sticking to your screen, nothing really happens. But you want it to be up there when we're inside our trigger. So, you want to make a new script. So, let's see, just make a folder script. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna right click, create a JavaScript, and I'm gonna call this text. Text script. I'm gonna click open. Now, as you can see, I already have it here. Um, where is it? Somewhere. I, cause I, cause I did it for my previous game. By the way, you can check it out. Check out my game, and link is going to be in the description below. So, um, all right, let me just change some values here. False, true, false. Now, this is an optional line. What it says is, if you seen the text once and you exited the the the, the trigger, the text is not going to appear ever again even if you enter the trigger if you want to delete that it's gonna it's gonna be every time you enter a trigger the text is gonna appear it's, it's totally up to you but I'm just gonna leave I'm just gonna leave it here so what are we saying is we're variable note as game object because GUI texture I mean GUI text is a game object so if function start it means the start of the game in the beginning of the game when you just start Actually, let's call it, well, I just called it note, whatever. So, note, which is our text, is going to be set active, false, which means that it's going to be transparent. You, 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 could, you can't see it in the beginning of the game. When we enter the trigger, the text will appear. It will be on top of our screen. And when we exit the trigger, it's going to disappear and it's going to delete itself. So, we're going to control safe, control S, control S. Um, we should have it right here. Now we are gonna drag our text script to our text trigger. We're gonna drag our GUI text right here to our note. And I believe it disappears. We walk up to our trigger, it appears. Wow. You exit, it disappears, and next time you walk up, it's not there. So, thank you for watching. Please like my video, check out my game. You can subscribe if you want for more tutorials and fun stuff. Thanks for watching. See you guys.